what's good out there everyone it's roll easy here welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be going over a gift cards to friends glitch that's pretty simple to do but can be tricky at the end but have no fear i'm going to go over all the special details with you right after this message if you're brand new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos if you're also interested in gta 5 online modded accounts go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description this will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 Online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so as always, big shout out to the founders. We got Lost Glitches and Killer Gaming, a little combination of both of their methods uh, mashed into one. So their links will be down in the description. Go check them out. What you're going to need for this glitch is throw yourself in an invite only session. I recommend definitely having your friend start the session. So you need a friend, obviously. It's gift cards to friends. So you want your friend to begin the session to host it and then send you an invite to come in there. Okay, that's how you want to set it up. All right, your friend has to be the host of the session. Now, you both need MOCs with the personal vehicle storage and an RH8 stored inside. Okay, so make sure you both got that. Also, as the person getting the car, you want to have an extra RH8 in another garage. On Xbox, I definitely recommend being in a free aim session because you guys are going to need another friend in a different targeting mode. Okay, and PS4 is going to be using recent activities. So basically, my friend right now is going to go ahead and send me an invite to their bunker and they have the RH8 from their MOC. Okay? So I haven't tested this on Xbox yet, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Basically, whenever we're using recent activities on PS4, Xbox needs to use a different targeting mode, except the first alert declined the second. OK, so here we go. My friend's driving. I'm in the passenger seat. I have a recent activity. Well, I'm going to get a recent activity ready on Xbox. You would be getting a, you know, a friend in a different targeting mode ready to join them. OK, so uh, right now you see me getting a recent. You want to get one that says start GTA online. And Xbox guys, just make sure you are ready to join that friend in another targeting mode as quick as possible. You're accepting the first alert and declining the second. So I'm going to double tap the PS button. I'm going to wait for my friend to press right D-pad. Right when I see the, you know, the screen kind of fade black, like it's going to happen right now, you're going to see that I'm going to double tap the PS button and then start GT Online and decline the alert. So you're going to see right D-pad. I'm going to double tap, start GT Online, decline the alert. This is what you should see. All right, you should get kicked out of the vehicle in the default bunker. All right, so that's what should happen. Okay, so on Xbox, it's a, it's going to be, the timing is going to be a little bit trickier, but I'm sure you can do it. You just got to make sure you say spam to join your friend, you know, and then before that first alert comes in, you want your friend to press right D-pad and you accept the first alert, decline the second. Okay, so now what should happen is you should get kicked out of the default bunker and you spawn over here. Okay, you want to go ahead and call up uh, say a buzzard, which is what I'm going to do right now, or you can call up your oppressor and you want to fly back over to your own bunker. Okay. What your friend wants to do at this point is go ahead and just tell your friend that they can basically just run off. All right. Tell your friend they can go and, uh, you know, basically go back to the docks. Okay. You want your friend to just go back over to the docks and, at the docks, you want them to call up the vehicle that they're going to be giving to you, okay? It could be anything. It could be a bike, whatever, but just make sure they can take a buzzard or whatever and just head over to the docks at this point while you're making your way back over to the bunker, okay? So right now, we're going to be landing over at the bunker momentarily, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually get an RH8 from a different garage. So remember in the beginning of the glitch, I said you want another RH8 in a different garage. I have an RH8 stored in my MOC, but I also have one in a different garage that I'm actually going to be. That's the one we're actually going to be duping over is the different one. So you just want to make sure you have one in the MOC as well as an extra one somewhere else. So you need two RH8s basically per car, uh, per car you're getting. So I've landed here. I'm going to go ahead and call up my mechanic, and I believe I have an RH8 stored inside my facility somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and check right now, and there it is. All right, so I'm going to call up the RH8 right now. Fast forward so that it gets delivered quickly, and there it is. So I'm going to get into it, and I'm going to go ahead and drive into my bunker. Now, what's going to happen now is you should get caught on an infinite black loading screen. If you do not get caught on an infinite black loading screen, you didn't get glitched out properly. So start over from the beginning. But right here, going into the you know bunker, if you're on Xbox, maybe press pause and have the pause menu up. But you're going to need a friend in a different targeting mode. 
PlayStation, when we're on this black screen, like I said, start GTA Online with a recent activity and decline the alert. Okay, so whenever uh, PS4 is using reasons, Xbox, you got to use targeting mode. Okay, so that's how you get off the black screen. Now, once that happens, you want to go ahead and make your way over to your MOC. Remember, the friends over at the docks already with the vehicle they're going to be giving us. All right. So you want to press right D-pad. And since this is another RH8, you're going to go ahead and accept the transfer alert. Now what's gonna happen is you get put on another black screen. So this is where PS4, we need another recent. Sorry, detail line, decline the alert. Xbox, front of another targeting mode. Select the first, decline the second. Once we're on this screen, press pause, and you wanna go ahead and you don't, you don't honestly, you don't need to spam criminal enterprise. I've seen a lot of you know people saying that you need to spam on the criminal enterprise starter pack right here. You really don't. If you look at the bottom right, you see that loading circle that's moving slowly. Once that goes away, you'll actually be able to press criminal enterprise. But you see right here, it's just like, you know, when you're spamming and nothing's happening, a lot of people are saying just spam the entire time. I really don't think you need to. I think if you just wait for that loading circle to disappear, then, uh, you know, the loading and the circle to actually disappear, then you'll be able to press the criminal enterprise starter pack easily. Okay, so I was just spamming here at the very end. It takes a good while, 20, 30 seconds or so, but eventually you will be able to get the menu up. There we go. Now you can go ahead and back out of the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. You can open up your interaction menu and then go ahead and take the easy way out. Okay, so you got the wasted symbol right there. Now that we've taken the easy way out, it will spawn us over at the docks. So remember I told you, you know, have your friend show up at the docks and wait for you there. That's because you spawn right there just like this. Okay, so right now, uh, time of day has changed a little bit. Wow, was I there for that long? Hmm. All right, anyways, so yeah, so I'm gonna run over here and I got my car that my friend is giving me. Okay, so this is the car that my friend is giving me and that's my friend over there. So what you wanna do is, for some reason, if I hop into this car with it and while I'm in this glitch state, I get put on this black screen right away. So if this happens to you, just do a recent decline the alert, Xbox, you know what to do with targeting mode and then you're good to go, all right? You're just chill. For some reason, the black screen just happens like that. Okay, like for me at least, every single time. So this is what I'm going to do to set up. I'm going to chill right here by the car, by the driver's side door. What my friend is doing, my friend called up her, uh, you know, her MOC and now inside the MOC and sending me an invite. Okay. So you see, I got the MOC invite right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, and this is the tricky part of the glitch. Okay. This is very tricky, uh, but you'll get used to it. I promise you. So I'm going to accept the MOC invite. You will get put on an infinite black screen. So of course, recent activity, Xbox, you gotta do targeting mode. Okay, so there's a lot of these black screens happening. Once you get off the black screen, you're gonna see a loading circle at the bottom right and your mini map's all screwed up. This is where you probably wanna spam or like I said, you might be able to wait for the loading circle. I think it's better to spam at this point because you wanna get off of this as quick as possible, okay? So at this point right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep spamming until I'm able to actually open up the criminal enterprise starter pack menu. All right. Now, once I get that open, I'm going to close it and you want to start a timer. Okay. So this can take anywhere from 20 to 24 seconds for you to actually get the car. All right. It's like, it's a four second window when you're going to get sucked in with the car. All right. So you're going to see what I do right here. So the criminal enterprise starter pack will eventually open up uh, very soon here. There we go. Now I'm going to decline it and get out of there and immediately start my timer. Okay, so there we go. I've gotten out of there. I even put a timer up in the top right. What you want to do now is go ahead and open up your phone and request your MOC. This is very important. You must request your MOC. Now, at around 20 to 24 seconds, you will be put on a black screen and get sucked into your friend's MOC. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is get into the car at that very moment. Now, you see, I missed it right there. I got put on a black screen without getting into the car. That's okay, though. All you got to do is go ahead and do a recent because you're on a black screen, but you're still outside. Okay, as long as you didn't try to get into the car, you won't get sucked in. So you see, I can go ahead and just restart at this point. I did the recent, got off the black screen, and now I'm just going to spam Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack again. Okay, so I'm going to spam on Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack again until I'm able to open it back up. So I've only, I only failed once at this point, but I do believe that you can fail a few times and still get the car, you know? So even if you miss that little time frame, you can still try it again. You just got to get off that black screen. Remember Xbox, you need that friend in a different targeting mode, except the first alert, decline the second. That's how you'll get off all of those black screens. PlayStation, you should know, you should know by now recent activities, just, you know, start detail online and decline the alert. That's the easiest way to get off of them. Okay. So 
Now, momentarily, you're going to see the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack show up again. Okay, I'm just spamming, spamming, spamming. There we go. I got it up. I'm going to decline and get out of there, and I'm going to start my timer. I recommend probably having your phone. All iPhones and Androids, you know, you got like a timer on there. So go ahead and just use the timer. That's what I was doing. So at this one, it's pretty much going to be closer to 23 seconds, almost 24 seconds. But And you're going to see I try to time it. At like 20 or 21 seconds, I actually try to get in and see if I can get it. And look. So I was like, oh, man, look, I didn't do it. I'm just going to get right back in. And you see, I got right back in and I got sucked in the black screen. And now I'm going to spawn in my own MOC with the car. Okay, so that's how you want to do it. So like I said, it's not a crazy complicated glitch, but there is a little bit of timing that you have to worry about at the very end. But like I said, it's use a timer and it's always between 20 to 24 seconds right after you decline that, um, that you know, criminal enterprise starter pack menu. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out and have a good day.